Hey everyone and welcome back to another Legion video. Today I'm going to be talking about the priest changes that are coming. Why? Well, Disc and Shadow are essentially new specs and Holy has massive changes. I'm not going to cover all classes in these videos, just the ones that are particularly stand out to me and priests have actually really excited me. So I'm going to start off with Shadow, which has been majorly reworked around the idea of Old God Void Magic. They are using a new resource called Insanity that is built up by abilities, and once you get enough Insanity, you enter Void Form where your abilities are turned into empowered versions. Void Form can then be extended by using your abilities, but it's not indefinite. Outside of Void Form, you are still the sort of dot-heavy gameplay, and they have stripped out Heal, Flash Heal, and Prayer of Healing as they are holy spells. Instead, we're going to be using Power Word Shield and Shadow Mend as our heals. Now then, let's talk about how the DPS works. So, you build Insanity directly with Mind Blast, Vampiric Touch, and Shadow Word Pain. Shadow Word Pain ticks have a chance of resetting the 9 second cooldown on Mind Blast. So, these abilities are going to be generating your Insanity. If all your dots are up and Mind Blast is on cooldown, then you'll just be using Mind Flay as your filler while you wait for other things to come off cooldown. Once you hit 100 Insanity, you enter Void Form. This increases Shadow Damage by 30% and gives you 2% haste every second, with that effect persisting 20 seconds after Void Form ends. Insanity will drain faster and faster over time until you have none left. So when you're in Void Form, your abilities will change. Mind Flay becomes Void Flay, and using it will extend Shadow Word Pain's duration by 3 seconds. Mind Blast will become Void Blast, it will extend Vampiric Touch by 3 seconds, and will have a 4.5 second cooldown. Finally, your Mastery will increase the damage and insanity generation of your attacks. Also, an example talent gave you 100 insanity instantly on a cooldown. So this has really piqued my interest in terms of gameplay. Basically, what you're going to be doing is putting both Vampiric Touch and Shadow Word Pain on your target. Then you will be using Mind Blast on cooldown, while watching out for your procs of the Shadow Word Pain ticks, which reset the Mind Blast cooldown. Doing that will generate you loads of insanity, and then your downtime is filled by Mind Flay. Once you hit 100, you just, you know, go into Void Form and then start spamming Void Blast and Void Flay. Doing this will extend the duration of both of your dots, and the haste buff from Void Form is going to increase the tick rate of your dots, meaning you'll get more insanity, and also meaning you'll proc more free Mind Blasts, which also gives you more insanity. The talent that they showcased will, I'd say, likely be used on the pool right after applying dots to your target. Um, also, multi-dotting will vastly increase the generation of insanity, and I think that'll be really key to this spec. So overall, the gameplay here just sounds really damn fun to me. Uh, we're going to need to see, though, how many of the talents will affect your void form duration and cause a situation where higher skill players will last there for longer, because right now, it seems the case that all you'll be doing is just multi-dotting and using things on cooldown to generate enough insanity to stay in void form. I wonder if there will be any major skill di uh, differentiating mechanics in play with Void Form. Still, this has very much got me interested in the spec. Discipline has also been changed in a way that actually excites me greatly. They think absorb mechanics lead to less fun for other healers, um, and because of that, they're moving away from shielding and towards the idea of being a DPS hybrid healer via atonement. They're going to be using both Holy and Shadow spells, and they are going to have strong cooldowns in the form of Power Word Barrier and Pain Suppression, plus a new temporary cooldown that will remove the cooldown on Power Word Shield, which would again make it spammable for a short time. So Atonement is the major mechanic here, and it is a passive buff that lasts for 15 seconds. It is applied to targets who are affected by Plea, Power Word Shield, and Shadow Mend. When you deal damage, you will instantly heal all targets who are affected by Atonement for 50% of the damage that you do, and that damage isn't split between the targets. Their mastery is actually going to increase the healing done by Atonement um, by roughly 28% with typical gear. So let's move on to the heals. Plea is just a cheap instant heal. Shadow Mend is more interesting though. It does a lot of healing, but applies a dot equal to half the amount of the heal. So in a way, it sounds like an absorb that can't really push past the health pool of your target. In combat, it would probably be quite strong. A Power Word Shield is a 6 second cooldown that puts a shield on your target, and Power Word Radiance is a 2.5 second cast smart heal that will heal 5 nearby allies and apply atonement for 50% of its normal duration, i.e. 7.5 seconds. 
Then on the offensive front, we've got Smite, which is a cheap 1.5 second cast, and Mind Blast, which is a more expensive 1.5 second cast that does more damage. Penance is a channeled ability with a 9 second cooldown that does damage over 2 seconds. And they are going to have a passive called Revelation, which gives Smite and Mind Blast a 30% chance to reset Penance. Shadow Word Pain is also present with an 18 second um, dot, as it normally is. Finally, they showed off a talent called Grace, which causes your non-atonement healing and absorption to be 30% stronger on targets with atonement. Wow, so let's just boil this down. And by the way, this sounds like a spec I really want to play. I'm very, very keenly interested. On the healing front, you will want to spread atonement to your targets. The cheapest way to do this is just going to be via using Plea. Shadow Mand seems like a very cool ability too, though it might have some readability issues. The Power Shield is toned down, but it's really just the familiar thing, and Radiance being a smart heal does seem to be quite expensive, but the Atonement spread could be quite useful in clutch situations. From a DPS perspective, it's really simple. If you're uh, conserving mana, you just use Smite. If you're not conserving mana, you use Mind Blast, and of course, while using Mind Blast will do more damage, it will also do more healing to your Atonement targets. Shadow Word Pain is also something that should be maintained and spread amongst targets. Pennant seems to be the main damage dealer though, and because its cooldown is reset by Smite or Mind Blast, you will want to be spamming one of those abilities all the time provided you're not healing a target directly. Wow, so playing this is going to involve loads of monitoring atonement on targets and ensuring people who are going to be needing heals always have the buff. I think there's going to be a lot of decision making here in this gameplay, and I can see this being a spec with a higher skill cap than normal. Balance-wise, Blizzard actually tweeted that it will be definitely viable for dungeons, and I almost think this is a perfect dungeon healer, because in a dungeon you only have a few targets to keep atonement uptime on, and assuming that healing is viable, having a DPS healing hybrid will speed up runs quite a bit. We are going to need to see what's introduced by um, talents and the overall balance between their healing and DPS, but I'm definitely going to be giving this spec a shot. As far as the raid usability, well, I can see there being times when two healers, for example, on a 10-man group, two healers is too few, but maybe three is too many, and going for 2.5 will involve somebody being Discipline. Though that does have me thinking that Discipline is going to be more of an off-spec for people, and that if you are a pure healer, you probably will be using Holy. And finally, we have Holy. I'm going to skim over it, but it's kind of interesting. They've removed Chakra, and instead are focusing on Holy Words as being really important, they won't be using Shadow Spells either, so Smite, Holy Fire, and Holy Word Chastise are going to be their damage-dealing abilities. So on the healing front, Heal and Flash Heal are as they were. Holy Word Serenity is a one-minute cooldown with a massive amount of healing. On the AoE healing front, we've got Prayer of Healing, which is a 2.5 second cast, Smart Heal AoE for five targets, and then Prayer of Mending, which works as it does the day. The AoE Holy Word is called Sanctify, and it's another big one-minute cooldown that does super heavy AoE healing to six players around a target. Renew is then a instant cast heal with a weak direct heal, but a stronger 15 second halt. Serendipity has also been redesigned, and this is where the main mechanic comes in. Casting a flash heal or heal will reduce the cooldown of Holy Word Serenity by six seconds. Casting a prayer of healing or a prayer of mending will reduce the cooldown of Holy Word Sanctify, by 6 seconds, and casting Smite or Holy Fire will decrease the cooldown of Holy Word Chastise by 6 seconds. Their mastery causes spells to heal for an additional 25% over 6 seconds, and an example talent was one that increases the effects of Serendipity by 300% for 30 seconds. So overall, this is kind of formulaic, but I like what they're going for. You've got a mana efficient ability, a la uh, less mana efficient ability, and then a big Holy Word. And that pattern applies to your single target, AoE, and DPS toolkits. So I expect the gameplay is going to completely surround knowing what kind of damage is coming in the fight, and then ensuring that you have the right Holy Word ready to go in a clutch moment. So as an example, if you know there's going to be a big, scary AoE moment soon, and Holy Word Sanctify is on cooldown, then you're likely going to want to use Prayer of Healing or Prayer of Mending to ensure that it is off cooldown when you need it. Since there is a mana efficient single target AoE and DPS spell, you're probably going to always want to be spamming something on someone, though that will depend on the base mana regeneration. I think this gameplay is actually going to be really interesting, though we will need to see what talents do to it. I suspect we'll see talents that modify the Holy Word spells, 
similar to how druids have talents which really emphasize the usage of their wild growth. For an example with druids, your wild growth usage, depending on your talent choices, are what can differentiate a per, uh, per resto from a good one. I expect we'll see similar with the power words and priests. Overall, I'm really excited about priests, and that's not something that I've ever been able to say about World of Warcraft. These pretty much all seem like new specs, and I'm quite excited by the designs. I can see the concerns of current priests, but again, we're going to have to wait until beta to see how things actually are. Anyway, that's been it for me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.